Adam, thanks. Laura Jacob is joining us this morning for our food facts, and we are making a heart healthy lemon basil salad. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing? Good, good. So, this salad is actually using wheat berries, and that's yeah. what this is in this bowl here. Mm -hmm. What is that? It's uh, it's an intact wheat grain. So uh, when you th when when you think about whole grain wheat, it's that only just ground up really fine. Okay, um, and it kind of looks like a little bit like quinoa. Yeah, yeah, um, but. I think so too. Uh, it's, uh, but it's obviously not. <laughs> yes, and it, it actually takes quite a while to cook, so you want to give it at least an hour, or you can do it overnight in your slow cooker. Oh, okay, that works too. And then do you just cook it, like boil it, or how, how is it cooked? Yeah, uh, boil it. Um, you, you do it like rice, basically. You put it in the water, and then you bring it to a rapid boil, and then you drop it down, cover it, um, and then cook it on low until it's tender, okay, or somewhat tender. It, it's pretty chewy, but sounds good. So let's um, throw this salad together. Um, why first, as we're doing this, why is this a healthy alternative to maybe a different side dish? Yeah, well, I think it would be great for a a, a barbecue, a cookout. Yeah. But um, typically, what we have is the heavy mayonnaise salads, like the potato salad and the. The coleslaw with all of the high calorie mayonnaise, but this is actually only about 120 calories for a half cup serving. Not bad. Um, yeah, high in fiber, very satisfying um, and tasty. So how do we make it? Um, so you, you have your cooked wheat berries, about two cups, and then you would add uh, one can of drained rinsed cannellini beans Okay. Um, and one diced cucumber. All right. Um, two stalks of celery diced up. About a cup of diced up uh, small tomatoes, like grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, um, and a fourth of a cup of crumpled feta. Okay. And then we have uh, some nice fresh basil, um, which is about a half a cup of shredded up fresh basil. Okay, and this was cut up, but you can also tear it um, if you need to. Yeah, yeah. So we, brought the, the, mm -hmm. we brought the leaves just to show. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you would juice a lemon, so um, I've got about half of it juiced already. Oh, that basil smells so good. It is nice and nice and um, strong smelling. Mm -hmm. um, and some some of the zest of the lemon, I like that because it really gives it a lot more flavor. Okay. Um, and then uh, we have two tablespoons of olive oil, which you drizzle over the top. And that kind of works good with that. And then, do we put the lemon juice in? Yep, we will put the lemon juice in as well. Okay. And then just kind of toss it and let it refrigerate about an hour to get all the flavors to mingle. Okay. And there we go with our... And then, then just mix it. it up, huh? Yeah. Oh, and it looks oops. great. I almost oh. forgot the parsley. Oh, gotta have that, right? Yep. And probably salt and pepper to taste. Just mm -hmm. throw it in there if you like it or if you need more or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it looks really pretty as a side dish, too. It does. And the wheat, the wheat berries, that's what they're called, right? Mm -hmm. So you can just get that anywhere and just throw it in the... Yeah, um, in sort of the natural flowers or grains section. Okay. I found this in the... Uh, natural food section, the bulk bins. Okay, so just grab some of that, and you said this is two cups? Mm -hmm. It's kind of a lot here. It is, it, yeah. It sounds like that wouldn't make as much as, as w what we see here, but. Yeah, when you get it all put together, it's quite a lot. <laughs> and it looks really pretty, too. Thank nice, you. beautiful side dish for your summer barbecues instead of maybe that heavier mayonnaise-based potato salad. Yep. <laughs> Thanks so much, Laura, for joining us this morning. We'll be right back with more of The Morning Show right after this.